27. He's at 35 stands at 63. He fights out of Apex Wrestling and hails from Staten Island, New York. Rico Suave Rodriguez. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, weighing in at 260.5. He's 46 stands at 510. He fights out of Machine MMA. I trained 
Spartan performance. Jack Lovett, there's the man there, put me through the hell with stent and conditioning. I'd never done stent and conditioning ever in my life. It killed me. Phil the Freeze, UK number one heavyweight, look at him. The man is a monster, he kicked up the shit out of me for 14 weeks. <laughs> Gilles Mulherrin, British and Intercontinental Champion. He was the second one to jump on us and kick the shit out of us. But the man who sat with me, he took time, he dedicated himself, he pretended he was weak when he was fighting me, he went through all the technical stuff, all the boring shit that you hear doing. But he spent time with me and, and he believed in me, Richie Knox. I love that man a bit. But my whole team, my whole team, and let's not forget the machine MMA. I couldn't do without them guys, I didn't do with them as much as I would like to do, only because of the level that they are, I and mean, I do the best in the country. But machine MMA guys, they took a beating off me, and I love you as well. Thank you guys. The right things are happening, you've got strength and condition, you've got striking, you've got groundwork. You seem to work here with the strikes initially, you took him down and you went straight in and went in for the kill. Man, the height, the height was, I mean, I've got to fill this ball with, he's high, he's tall, but I couldn't really catch Phil with the height, and I thought the height was going to be a slight disadvantage towards me. But people forget, it's been five years since I've been in the cage. Five years, that's, that's a long time. A long time, so I had them little bits of doubt in the back of my mind. Can I still do it? Fair enough, you can do it in training, you still beat people up in training, but that's in a comfortable environment. Here, with all you lot staring at me, watching me, going, let's see if he is too more, let's see if that five years off actually works. My god, I am so fucking happy. The thing is, Ian, you've proved it, the hit is gone, thank you for the support, man. You've come in here, you came in there with kicks, you chucked him down, you're hiding me in anything, you dealt with him on the floor. Richie Knox, Richie Knox is the man, Richie, raise your hand. Richie Knox, he's the man who went his leg kicks. Use your leg kicks. Obviously, I was a bit worried in case Rick was shot in as I was throwing a leg kick. That's a, but my sprawl has been super fast. Phil the face is one of the fastest shoots I could have, I've ever trained with. And Phil had a hard job taking me down, so I knew, I knew Rick was couldn't do it. But uh, I think I broke my hand on <laughs> kicking him. It actually hurts. It's actually a big swollen. But I'll tell you what, these guys, you better buy me a fucking pint. I've been on a dive for 14 weeks if I wanted. I just want to say thank you guys so much for the opportunity. The fight changed last week. Um, I just got honored to fight Ian. He's a stud and he's a class act as a gentleman. It's our job as Miss Martial Artist to promote the sport in a positive way. Without you guys, we wouldn't be here. Ian, thank you so much for having me share the spotlight. What a gentleman, Mr. Rodriguez. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hold on, we have to finish it. I'm on, I'm on. I've got a beautiful lady up there. My beautiful wife. Baby, I love you.